Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Jeremy Regeer of Cougar Ridge Computer Systems, a laser fiche reseller located in Alberta, Canada. Today we're talking about an overview of the laser fiche client. This will give you a, a view of what using laser fiche on a Windows workstation can look like for you or your users. We'll cover things like browsing, searching, and annotating documents, as well as importing and exporting to give you some idea of what this looks like. In future videos, we'll cover LaserFiche workflow automation, LaserFiche forms, electronic forms, and LaserFiche quick fields for batch image processing. Let's jump right in. If I open the LaserFiche Windows client, I see a simple login option to log into the LaserFiche repository or repositories for larger organizations. These are the central location where all of your LaserFiche information is stored. Of note is the fact that we can use Windows authentication to utilize your users and groups from your existing Windows Active Directory infrastructure. This will simplify deployment as most of that will in your organization may already be created. In this case, I will provide credentials for LXAP, an AP clerk that needs to see his accounting data as well as some general documents. On the left is a standard looking Windows folder tree. On the right is the information within that folder. If I browse to general documents, I see the information laid out in rows and it, the columns can be customized to include metadata that is standardized such as the creator of the document, how many pages are in the document, or even using actual metadata from the, uh, the document itself. This gives you a great deal of customizability and ways to sort your data. If we browse into the folder and find a subfolder, we can see all the documents in it and we can double click on those documents to view them. In this case, I've opened a document that's an image type document, which could be scanned from pages or printed through LaserFiche Snapshot directly without having to generate paper from a third party application directly into LaserFiche. This is included with the base product. On the left, I see the thumbnails, the thumbnail view, which allows me to browse by page and see the approximate view, as well as manipulate those pages to do things like rotation or emailing individual pages out. I can scroll and zoom and so on. But I also have things like annotation tools, which allow me to do sticky note annotation, stamps, uh, highlights, and maybe most importantly, things like redaction, which can save you a lot of manual work. When I redact part of an image, it will be blacked out in any export or email that I do, and it will also note the, the text of that, the, the searchable text of the document um, is understood as to where it is, and it actually uh, redacts the, the text beneath that part of the image. So if somebody is full text searching for words that are underneath that redaction, unless they have the correct security rights, they cannot find that search result. It just shows that LaserFiche's security goes all the way down to a very low or a, a low level, a very complete level of security. All annotations are simply layers on top of the document. So with the right uh, security rights, like I have, I can see through that redaction since I'm the creator of it. This allows me to leave those redactions in place for future use. If I were to print the document or email it out as a PDF, these would be a flat black image where it would be baked right into the, the exported image. I, because they are only layers on top of the document, the document integrity is, is retained and I can delete or clean up those, those annotations. Of course, this is all subject to security. Let's talk in brief about metadata. Metadata is most commonly thought of as templates, which are collections of fields. Fields are different types of data, such as numbers, um, text, drop-down boxes, and so on. The fields are all of your choosing are, and are information about your information. Uh, fields can be reused between templates to streamline and reduce the amount of duplication that you might do and allow you to search across multiple types of information. Uh, templates are simply collections of them and they can be selected and each document can contain a template and or additional uh, fields by themselves for full flexibility. Security tags and description tags allow us more control over ways to mark information or secure it. Links allow us to link uh, documents that may not otherwise be stored together, but have a relationship with each other, such as a contract that was superseded by another contract. They can be linked together, and that relationship is noted. We also have full version control on any type of information, be it scanned or electronic documents, so you have a complete um, 
set of version control functionality built right in. We can also apply SSL signing certificate based uh, signatures to give you the ability to validate um, documents of any type and sign off on them so that whether or not they've changed can be validated later. Another way that we can search for information is by going to the quick search box in the top right hand corner. This is also known as the Google search bar. I can type a, a single word or multiple words in and it will return results. This is controlled by some simple search criteria like the text of the document, uh, the name of the document, any metadata fields in the document and or annotations and they can be checked or unchecked in any order. This is the simple search box so that is the limit to the control at that level. If I search for a specific word and press enter, I will get all the search results that contain that word. I can see the number of times that they appeared in the document. I can click to highlight a document and see all of the context hits of where those search criteria were found and in what context. And if I double click one, it opens directly to the page and even directly to highlight the exact context hit that I was looking for. This truly, if you think about it, allows you to drill into any word, any number on any page in your entire file repository, of course, subject to security. But that is truly a Google search across multiple document types. If this level of search is either returning incorrect or not enough results, we can switch to the advanced search. And this lets us craft any level of search that we wish. And we can add different way, uh, methods of searching in together. So I can search for some specific word search terms and then also maybe add some criteria that it also must be a specific template or have certain information in the template field itself. And when I search, I return more results. But then I also even have it as an additional level. I can refine the results. So I can, I can create a brand new set of search terms and hit refine res results and it will only perform that search within the search terms that I already have. So if you have a very large search criteria, you can gradually narrow it down by refining the results using different terms. If you have large searches and complex searches that need to be repeated, you can save them and then recall them later. They can, those can also be pushed out from the server if you have those searches that need to be done by many users across your whole uh, company. This is also where we perform records management searches, which we'll cover in another video. Another way that we can look at documents is to look at electronic documents. Um, if I double click on an electronic document, such as this Word file, it will load in the application that's registered to open that file type. That means I can store any type of third party electronic document. And when I double click it, it will load on my computer in that native application that, that is registered to open that file type. That means that I have no limits to the type of files that I can store and open. In the case of Microsoft Word or other Microsoft Office applications, we have a direct integration with LaserFiche where we provide a LaserFiche ribbon or tab on the ribbon to allow us control like check-in, check-out functionality, providing version comments, monitoring or mo modifying the metadata, and even using tokens from LaserFiche uh, in, the, in the data itself, such as the creator of the document or the, the uh, entry ID uh, serial number of the document in, the, in a header or footer, as examples. When I make a change to the document and save it, it asks me how, what changes I want to make or what do I want to do with these changes. In this case, it's a version control document, so I can, uh, I can say that I deleted some data and I can close the, the and save the changes. If I open this up in LaserFiche and look at my versions tab, I can see all the versions that I've created in the past and who they were created by and all the comments that were left. So you can see that that can be very useful uh, tracking uh, information changes over a long period of time. If I double click a PDF, a PDF will actually open in the electronic or in the uh, LaserFish document viewer, but it will open as an electronic file. And this pane is actually using the Adobe PDF plugin that I have installed in this computer to give me a perfect PDF view. LaserFish has the ability to import and export uh, in PDF. And so if you wish to get information out of LaserFish, it is easy to take your, your TIFF images and export them as PDFs for, for common use elsewhere, such as email. 
some of the ways that we can bring information into LaserFiche is by dragging and dropping. So if I take a file on my desktop and I simply drag and drop it into the place in LaserFiche where I want to store it, I have the option to import. And one of my options by default is to generate that searchable text that I'm looking for. And Im the import is complete, and it's just that simple. If I open the document and look at the text pane, I can see the various text that has been captured with this doc uh, from this document, this PDF, and that is now searchable in my search results. If I want to search within an electronic document, I just simply use it as uh, within the search terms. So, for example, if I use a, a text that is uh, that exists within one of my Word documents, and I perform a search, I'll return the Word document itself. So we can return results across multiple content types with a single search. The user doesn't have to think about the type of content that they're searching for. I also have the ability to export documents or email them out in any format. So if I take a, a standard scanned image here, uh, I'll use this one for example, which is a TIFF image, and I can take and drag and drop it out onto the desktop and it will automatically convert to a PDF. I could also provide it more information or, or options if I wanted, but that's how easy it is by default. I could right click and I could email this document to somebody and I could choose that it could go in PDF, in which case I even have control to add passwords which encrypts the document for an additional layer of security outside of LaserFiche. Finally, the last thing that I wish to cover is one thing that makes LaserFiche unique, which is something we call transparent records management. This will only apply to you if you're using records management functionality, but the security methods that we use apply in all cases whether or not you're doing this. So this can have some value in for any use case. In this particular user, we're using uh, LXAP, and he views his accounting data, and he views accounts payable information, and he can see the particular purchase orders that he's looking for. They're organized by a logical, functional uh, definition, by the purchase order, and then the name of the company that is uh, the purchase order is issued to, and then all of the purchase orders issued to that company. It's an example of one way that I want to sort that information. It's a very functional view. Uh, however, if I have records managers or even other users that wish to view that data, they may want to view it in a different way. They may want to see all the purchase orders that are in a given year, for example. So instead of ending up with this fight over how should we view the data, it should be either or. It can be both. And in the case of records management, it can solve the problem of having records managers fight over their structured views of data and users maintaining a nice functional uh, view of the information. And we do that with security by hiding the folders that aren't important and also using shortcuts in LaserFeature, which are similar, as you can see the icon, uh, the little shortcut icon on the, on the folder or the file itself, are very similar to Windows shortcuts with one important distinction, and that is that if the source file moves, it does not break the shortcut that allows the, the original file to be placed and even sorted differently during its life cycle and still have valid shortcuts that can return search results and so on. So in this case, I'll just show you visually that LXAP doesn't care about any records folder um, structures and so on, and this, the, the, his purchase orders are actually shortcuts to the files that are located elsewhere, but he doesn't know or care about that. Now if I take and close LaserFiche and I log back in as Ralph the records manager, we'll see that Ralph has a very different view of the exact same repository. In this case, he has an accounts payable records folder, and he wants to see all the purchase orders, but in his retention schedules, he wants to organize them by month and day, uh, year cutoff times. And so all of the different purchase orders that are in these particular time frames need to be stored in record folders. This is the exact same information laid out in a completely different way and is what we call transparent records management, which allows multiple different types of users to all be happy. It's the best of all the worlds and it makes LaserFiche unique. In future videos, we'll cover more automation tools and some of the forms capabilities of LaserFiche, but for now, thanks for watching.